dry and then if the cow spills up and then see how it's cracked yeah so i'm taking all the dead tissues out oh, right now good. so when it cracks sometimes it can bleed right does it, oh, bleed it does uh, yeah okay. Now we have Richard here. Hi, Richard. How are you doing? Just fine. Nice yeah. to see you again, uh, okay. Dr. Kim. Okay, so we're going to do some cutting here, and uh, Richard has some cracked skin here that we're going to clean out all nicely. So we're going to work on that as well. So we're going to start from this side. So how you been, Richard? How was your Thanksgiving? Well, it was very nice. Uh, we were, uh, we, the wife and I, uh, we're in Arizona for uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. And uh, <clears throat> we drove back uh, the following day and got to see uh, Cone Pass in all its splendor. Uh huh. Totally covered with snow. Oh, is that right? Oh. Traffic. The road was open, but. It must have been beautiful there, huh? Well, it was gorgeous. It was toward the end of the day. Oh, I see. It was. Um, Some sunset? Yes. Um, Road was open, but a lot of traffic and moving very, very slow. Oh, really? Just coming back, huh? Yeah. Uh, and I guess it was worse on Sunday. The piece in the paper traffic was backed up for 20 miles. Oh, is that right? Oh, I can believe it. It's so just, people are coming back from Well, they're there? coming oh. back, let's say, from uh, Las Vegas. Oh, I see. Points north, uh, going through Barstow, and then down through... Um, <coughs> pass there. Mm -hmm. So I think snow was down to about the 2,000 foot level. Oh, wow. So who, who, who lives there? Uh, in Arizona? Mm -hmm. Oh, we, we have a place there. Oh, you do? Yeah. So oh, we, so that's your second home? Yeah. We've been nice. out of town for a few days. And, oh. Uh, so who, who keeps that place up when... <laughs> Well, we there. do. <laughs> oh, you do? So you have to go visit quite often then? Yeah, we try and get over there four or five times a year. Mm -hmm. um, our sons uh, help out. Uh, we don't rent it out or anything. Like oh, really? That. Okay. It's just uh, for family use. Nice. It's, it's a nice getaway. Yeah. How long is the drive? You know, door to door... It's 300 miles, uh -huh. so it's about between five and six hours okay. normally. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll stop along the way and have a meal and, um, mm -hmm. you know, motor on. So it's not too bad. Interstate 40 is a nice uh, highway to... It's pretty flat, right? Like um... Yeah, for, once you're out of Barstow, um, it is, there is one uh, grade... Um, Mountain Spring uh, Road a grade that's about it goes up to about twenty seven hundred feet. Mm. So uh, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. But it does go up quite a bit. Uh, a little bit uh, up and down uh, just prior to dropping down into the uh, Needles area. Mm -hmm. and, um, so it, it, it normally it, it's, it's a pleasant drive. And like I say, we break it up and. Uh, mm -hmm. Makes it fairly pleasant, but uh, how about uh, summertime? It gets pretty hot, though. Huh? Well, yeah, um, it gets up to anywhere, but let's say normally between 110, 115. Oh, really? <laughs> I think the hottest uh, my wife has experienced is like 121 there. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, it can it can warm up. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Uh, this time of year, you wake up, it's about 40 degrees. Uh -huh. and it may get up to about 60 or so. Oh, it's pretty uh, close to uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. It's pretty similar weather. And then in the summertime, uh, it'll okay, cool down to 90 at night. So. Oh, cool down, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you get um, you can get some extremes out there, but it's a dry heat. It's not... Um, yeah, it's not muggy, huh? Muggy like it is here with so much moisture in the air. Mm-hmm. No, it, it's pleasant. Uh, we've enjoyed it. and. Um, mm -hmm. So who, who, who all had uh, Thanksgiving dinner? It was just the thing? wife and I. The, oh, is that right? The okay. boys, uh, uh, <clears throat> the, one was working, another family was out of town. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Where are the yeah. boys at? Where do so they live? They're local. Oh, here. Oh, yeah, okay. They live here. Oh, okay. Um, so you have to go out there and check out your property quite often. 
Well, like I say, we try and get out five or six times a year. The boys will go out. They like to fish. Oh, I see. And, um, you know, enjoy the lake, uh, water skiing, that kind of thing. So, uh -huh. Oh, there's a there's a lake there? Oh, yeah, Lake Havasu. You oh, know. Lake Havasu, yes, yeah, yes. Um, oh. You guys got a boat? Parker, Parker Dam uh, would have created uh, the lake there. And, mm -hmm. uh, well, they have, they have the toys. Oh, really? <laughs> What do they like to do? Just uh, fishing, or fishing, maybe? water skiing, that oh, kind water skiing. Of thing. So it's uh, it's a great place uh, for that kind of activity. Mm -hmm. um, is the water cold, or uh, is it nice and warm? This time of year, yes. In the summertime, I'm not sure exactly what the temperature is, but it's it's comfortable. In the summertime, it's comfortable. This time of year, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, like. So. Because it's so hot outside, you know, maybe uh, water won't be that cold then, huh? Well, yeah, with the air temperature elevated, the first few feet is, uh, you get down deeper, of course, it's going to be cold. But mm -hmm. the first five or six feet or so is, uh, is comfortable. Yeah, that's nice. So, yeah, we've enjoyed it. My son started doing uh, wakeboarding. You know, wakeboarding? Yes. Do people wakeboard over there? Yes, our, our, our sons do that. Uh -huh. Very popular. Yeah. So he really fell in love with it oh, good. this summer. So when we came back, uh, we started going to uh, one of the lakes near my house. Like well, every weekend. Uh, it's up in, uh, I live in La Cañada, but um, okay. the, it's called a, uh, you know what, I forgot the name right now. It's can't think of the name, but it was about 40 miles north. Okay. So we went there almost every weekend. It's a beautiful lake. I'm trying to yeah. think what's, what's up there. Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm just not thinking of the name of the lake right now, but it's beautiful and it's not crowded, you know? Wow. Not like wow. The, uh, some of the other lakes. Thanks for a nice getaway. Yeah, it was beautiful and we there was a guy who was uh, helping us with the boat and uh, he was teaching my son the wakeboarding a little bit yeah terrific yeah so we had a lot of fun well actually I, I i got injured a little because we were doing a banana boating you know the banana boat mm -hmm. you know those tubing thing so they were pulling on it and i was holding on to it and it went upside down oh. and i pulled my arm so i had i had pain for a little while so I decided not to get on those things anymore. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> I used to water ski, but uh, I don't have the legs for it anymore. I, uh... Yeah, oh, you used, to, you used to water ski? Sure. Uh -huh. yeah, lots of fun. And you... Here in, uh, uh, locally here, uh, Marine Stadium, and down there, um, that inlet there at uh, Bolsa Chica. Uh, Lakes uh, around the state, uh, mm -hmm. to, you know, do a lot of family camping and boating with friends and that kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. lots of fun, great memories. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Good old days, huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Where else do you travel? Well, we enjoy going to uh, Kauai. Yeah, that's right. You have a Hawaiian shirt on today. Yeah. Very nice. We, um, we enjoy going there. And then I, I think we're going to start doing a little more traveling around uh, some road trips uh, here in California and um, oh, really? okay. uh, other places. Um, maybe take uh, river cru cruises seem to be popular. Now. Yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of my might, patients are going uh, to those. Look into that. Yeah, they say it's really um, good. Yeah, it's fun to do a few different things. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So where do you go in uh, Maui? Uh, we go to Kauai. Oh, you go to Kauai, yeah. that's right, okay. Up there in the North Shore. Um, very yeah. pretty up there, Hanlei, uh, that area. Uh -huh. You go to Princeville? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we stay in, usually stay in Princeville. Oh, you do? So, they have a gorgeous hotel right there in oh, Princeville. Oh, they do. Yeah. We have a dear friend that works there. Uh, we always go see her. Oh, is that right? Yes. Um, yeah. Lovely uh, Hawaiian gal, and she's just been very, very nice to us over the years. Uh -huh. I know, it was like nothing, and all of a sudden, boom, you know, it's like a huge hotel comes up. It's a beautiful property there. Well, it is, and uh, there's a lot of um, uh, 
single family dwellings uh, in the area, uh, some developments. Um, uh -huh. It's, uh, but it's a very pretty place. Um, I try and take one of those emery boards to uh, tow every once in a while. Oh, this one? When I think about it, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I, for some reason, that uh, dead skin really seems to build up there. Yeah. I gave you some medicine before, right? Softening medicine? Do some you still what? have that? For I gave you some. Toe? Yeah, remember the softening medicine I gave you? Do you still have that? Yeah, the. Um... Urea cream? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Yes, yeah, I yeah. Do. You gotta use that every night. On on the toe? Yeah, because it's so dry and then the callus builds up and then see how it's cracked? Yeah. So I'm taking all the that tissues out oh, right now. Good. So when it cracks sometimes it can bleed, right? Does it oh, bleed? Oh, it sometimes? does. Um, yeah. I've got to, um, well, in, in the summertime, especially walking on um, concrete. Yeah, yeah. It really, really saps the moisture out of your feet and right. so I always uh, wear uh, flaps or something uh, to avoid that. Uh, the toes they really really um, yeah this can be really painful. Callus up um, mm -hmm. and then split you know and then mm -hmm. they bleed and it's very uncomfortable so yeah. I try and uh, try and protect them as much as possible. Like yeah. Say an emery board or something I'll grind away on there and yeah. It takes a lot of that uh, material off. Yeah. So it's cracked here. It wasn't too deep today. Yeah, so I was able good. to get get all of them and then I'll grind it nicely here. Well, this time uh, this time of year, I'm, I'm not barefoot that, that much. That much, huh? Okay. Yeah. You can see the tan marks on my feet there from... Uh, <laughs> summertime? Flaps in the summertime. <laughs> Especially when you go to Kauai, right? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I like Kauai too, but it rains a lot. Well, that's why it's so green. It's uh, Mount uh, Wailaliali -Ali is uh, what a spot on earth. I get about oh, is that four, right? 450 yeah. inches of rain a year. It's just wow. beautiful waterfalls. And yeah. Why not the Wailua River? There were seven major rivers on the island. And, oh, is that right? Oh, wow. It's uh, just a, a beautiful place. Yeah. So I'm gonna grind all the nails oh, and the calluses yeah. nicely. Toe, so we're the <laughs> Richard's oh, pretty ticklish. Oh, I am. I'm wearing his <laughs> Richard's the big guy, but when he's ticklish, <laughs> he doesn't look like a big guy. I'm gonna squeeze that toe pretty hard, right? Yeah, that's all Give yeah. you a little bit of pain while I'm doing it so that you won't feel the uh, ticklish as much. Yeah. I do appreciate all the treatment when it comes to Yeah, well, you've been coming for a long time, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh huh. So I'm getting all this thick calluses out of here. This side's not as bad, but the right big toe is really cracking terribly. So we need to get to that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, looks like I have feet that came from two And then uh, you put in the medicine, right, on your nails? Oh, uh, yeah, the clear nails. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That, uh, that still needs to be, keeps everything under control. Right, right. Uh, it's very well. So I got this down pretty well now. Where hopefully it won't crack anymore. Well, I'll try and stay on top of it. Uh, yeah, just put it on every night and put sock over it so that uh, it would moisturize the area. Okay. So it won't crack anymore because it, it can become pretty painful. A lot of time it bleeds and causes a lot of pain there, so. Well, I think that, that you really pretty might have, um, I 
Okay. Yeah, twenty percent is okay. A little higher is okay too. About forty percent. It's, it's hard to find a higher percentage. Yeah, yeah, you're I right. I also uh, use some on my elbow, uh, and it's been very effective. Uh huh. Uh, but I don't know if it's very effective. Uh huh. So if you recommend uh, the toe as well, uh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So that's it. Looks really good right now. Wow. Let me clean it out a little bit and show the audience what it looks. Right, right now, all the cracks are gone now on the toes. Get a lot of cracks on the bottom of the toes. Especially this one was really bad, but now you can see it's nice and clean there. So, let's take a final picture.